Hey BrewTubers, the brewery is back open. I haven't brewed um, all summer just because the temperatures in my basement were pretty hot. So now the basement temperature is back down and I'm going to make a pumpkin ale today. This one's going to be a clone of Dogfish Pumpkin Ale. So let me show you the ingredients. Here's all our ingredients. So we have our grain. We got 10 pounds of two row uh, pale malt. We have one pound of special malt and then one pound of crystal. And then we also have in this bottle, this is actually my American Ale Yeast 2. So that's a little different than most people would say. They would say just use a regular American Ale Yeast for uh, this uh, pumpkin, dogfish pumpkin ale. And then we have two ounces of Howler towel that we're gonna use. We got two can, big cans of pumpkin. And then the only thing that I'm not showing right here is the brown sugar. So we're gonna get started. Here's our malts going into the mash tun. Along with the grains, we're gonna add our two cans of pumpkin into the mash tun. Whenever you hear um, heavy breathing in my videos, you know it's my dogs. Okay, we got all this pumpkin in here. Oh man, it's gonna be good. I can't wait till the actual pumpkins come out this year. Um, I, I like to use some of the pie making pumpkins, which are out a little later than the, the uh, Jack Lantern type pumpkins. Okay, we're gonna add our 12 quarts of water. Give it a good stir to really mix this in. Take a quick temperature. Give it a 30 minute protein rest. It's time to add six more quarts of boiling water to our mash to bring the temperature up to 150 to 155. Um, let's check what the final temperature is here. This beer is really pushing the uh, capabilities of my uh, system. Um, you know, the, the grain bill almost makes it so it fills up the whole mash tun. So I wouldn't be able to do anything with more grain than this. As you can see, the, if, you, if you're seeing it's uh, right up here at the top. Okay, so now that I've stirred that up a little bit, actually get all the way down. Temperature time. All right, so it looks like we are about 156, which is just slightly high. So what I do, when this happens, you always know, stir it up a little bit more. That usually does a good job of letting some of the heat out. And I wait a few minutes before I actually uh, close it up with the, the mash jacket. So I'm gonna get this to the right temperature. I'm going to put my mash jacket on and then we're gonna um, hold it at that temperature for 45 minutes. The sparge is on. Nothing fancy here, just beer. We got our wort to a boil now, so I'm just gonna put in an ounce of power towel. And also, I have some brown sugar. We're gonna put a a pound of brown sugar in there. So I'm just gonna dump that in. Stir it up a little bit, make sure it fully dissolves and doesn't uh, burn on the bottom. And then we're gonna uh, have a 60 minute total boil. Um, I'm gonna, after 45 minutes, I'm gonna put in my pumpkin spices. Now it's time to add our tablespoon and a half of pumpkin pie spice. And we're just gonna keep that boiling for another 15 minutes. After, uh, for the last five, we're gonna add some Howard towel, um, another ounce of it. We're just about five minutes left on the boil, so I'm gonna add 
another ounce of our power towel for the end. And then it will be going on to the chill. It's time to finish up the batch and pitch this yeast. And then we're just gonna let Mother Nature do her thing. Well guys, if you're not uh, signed up, of course comment, you know, like this video. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe right below. And we'll see you next time.